Hey y'all, I wanted to pretend to be a YouTuber and talk about this device I picked up, the Anbernic RG Nano. It came out about two years ago. I think it was originally around 60 or $70. Um, I managed to pick it up for about 34 off of AliExpress and I normally see it for around 45 or so. Um, when I first got it though, I was kind of frustrated with it. Um, and I shouldn't have been really surprised. Uh, it can play up to PlayStation 1 games, which is cool, but as you can see, it's missing two buttons that you would need for a lot of the PlayStation games. And also, this is a one inch by one inch screen. It is about the same as my watch, um, which is pretty limiting as well. So that's what I did first. Like, I went to the PlayStation games and tried to play some, and yeah, it was. You know, hard to see, the buttons are cramped. Uh, decided, okay, maybe I should stop trying to do those. I know, I'll try the Game Boy Advance games. And Game Boy Advance, you know, it's made to, it's a portable system, so the screen, or the text on the screen and stuff is made to be visible, even on smaller screens. Thing is, that's a three by two, aspect ratio screen, which when you squish down to try and fit on um, uh, a one by one screen, uh, it gets really small and it's actually even harder to see. So after that, I thought, okay, Super Nintendo, I'll go try and play those. And that was a little bit better, but one, the text was smaller, and the, the screen was bigger, and the buttons were more cramped, so I'd find myself accidentally hitting buttons and just, you know, dismounting Yoshi at inopportune times and dying that way. Um, so I was almost to the point of just using it as purely a keychain, but then I decided, well, let's see what happens if I just remove everything other than the things I think will play well, uh, which would be the uh, handheld systems with screens that are close enough to one by one. Uh, and that's like, of the 11, that's only like four or five, depending on how you're counting. I combined the Game Boy and Game Boy Color into a single thing because I got tired of having parts one and two of a series over as a Game Boy game and parts Two, three and four is a Game Boy Color, and I'd forget if I had all of them or not, and yeah, it's easier just to put them all in one place. Uh, so it includes that. also includes Sega Game Gear, the Atari Lynx, and the Neo Geo Pocket. Now, and I've been really happy with this setup. Um, you know, this isn't something I play at home, really. It's what I play if I'm, like, out waiting in line or something. So I want games I can jump in and out of really easily. Um, and one of the ways that this makes that easy to do is if I hold the menu button while I'm playing a game, it will save and shut down the device. And then when I turn it back on, it goes exactly to where I was when I was playing, which is cool. Um... I also, uh, since I started doing that, I discovered a lot of these portable games that I, you know, often assumed were just all garbage are actually really cool. And I kind of like that I'm not just doing the same, playing the same games as I would if I was at home, right? I'm playing it, playing like the portable version of Mario or uh, Sonic or whatever. Um, I don't know, there's something I like about that, that it's different. Um, so one of the things I did also was, oh, see, it takes a while because I have like 700 games in here. Another thing I need to do is go through and eliminate, delete the ones that I'm just like, no, I'm never going to play, like, uh, the new adventures of Mary-Kate and Ashley and whatnot. Um... So, right, I upper, up, 
updated the operating system to this uh, custom one that uh, Drum78 made. Uh, that adds a lot of features. One, it adds that you can, um, for like the regular Game Boy games, you can add the colorization to make it look, have that like green color that Game Boys used to have. Otherwise, it's this like black and white that's just sort of, I don't know, a little off-putting. Um, it also lets removes this annoying clock. You know, whenever you turned it on, it would be in this like clock mode, and then you'd have to press start and then wait a second for it to leave that. Um, I, I don't know why that was there. Nobody wants it. Um, so, uh, also, this thing, it, you know, it came with games, but it didn't, most of the games it came with didn't have any of the box art. You just get this, like, generic logo picture. So I used a, a program called Scraper, with a K, to go through all these games, and, you know, it found the box art for them and put them on here, which was very cool. Makes it a prettier experience. Um, one thing I wish they would add is a random button, you know, because I got, you know, 2,000 games on here, uh, be cool if just press a thing and then it would pick one for me, um, anyway, I think, uh, taking that approach to this device, the you know, stripping it down to only what it'll do well uh, really helps me appreciate it and definitely makes it worth having um, or worth getting. I don't know, maybe someone will benefit from this. Uh, let me know if you do.